Ah, hey. <laughs> Hello. And as the Sega Mega Drive NBA Jam 95 EA Sports, it's in the game. Let's get into it. I don't know. But today, today, I'm going to be continuing on with this because the Animation Short Film Festival starts in about three weeks. So I need to get this set done. I need to get the small spaceship that we've been working on. That needs to be done. As well as... Uh, what else? As well as one more scene, which I've got to build from scratch. And the plan as well is to get everything over into Unreal Engine. So that's going to be grouse. We'll get there. We will get there. Open. Hey, welcome. Welcome to the chat. Who else we got here? I don't know. Nobody really. Only open. Sweet. Nice. Thank you for joining. Um, but yeah, so we're going to probably focus on more of the like the little bits and pieces. Like we'll probably be making a few knives, a few bowls. Um, there will be a bit of a rack. I'm turning this music off. I can't think. Um, going to be creating a rack for all our plates. Um, might try and create a rug, but I don't think I'm going to do that. But yeah, we will go from there. I really like how this has turned out, especially with kind of like that wide angle lens. Leo's here. Welcome, buddy. How you doing? Um, really liking how this has turned out. Um, but definitely we need to add in more bits and pieces and I've got to buy a pasty and do that. Mm, keep forgetting. It's okay. It's fine. Um, so we've got that. And yeah, so we're just going to go through, probably create a whole bunch more assets. The other thing that we need to do as well is create this right wall, the back wall, which is going to be a door. Um, this here, I'm actually thinking of cutting it back a little bit and so the people actually just squeeze through this little spot to get around I kind of want this like tight little area um, where we can remove the walls as an experienced artist sure um, I think where should 3d art where should, should a 3d artist grow game designer VFX what do you think would be oh well That's a good question. I'm... Mm, mm, I think we're going to go down the route of games. Oh, right. <laughs> All right, fellas. <laughs> nub, nub, welcome. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Stephen Scott, I love you, buddy. I hope to meet you one day. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to get punched in the face. Um, back to the the, the 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 question. I reckon go for game design, um, but you got to be multi-talented nowadays. I don't think being cut as just a 3D artist is going to be good enough anymore. I think you've got to put especially more hats. Unless you're going to work for a major game studio where you've got one job. But if you're going for a smaller game studio, you're going to have to wear many hats. Um, let's go. I am going to cut. Oh. I am going to cut this down a little bit. Excellent. We'll put an edge loop through there. Edge loop. Ooh. Hang on. Now I'm lost. Let's just see. Where are my edge loops? Let's get rid of that edge loop. Delete edge loop. Bam. Bam. There we go. And then there. Mm, let's go a little bit more through here. Perfect. And then we're going to clear all that out. Now, I do have a light under here that we need to fix up. Ah, ploppers. Um, oh, we might just, you know what? That's what we're going to do. Is we are just going to do a... Um, Get rid of both these edge loops, and then we're just going to move everything over, and then we'll just UV unwrap everything again. <laughs> oh, man. I love you, Stephen Scott. 
Marco, you're opening my binge. I oh, Farscape. Classic. And who just subscribed? Because I heard a sound. Evie. Oh. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> Some dude running a whole show on y on YouTube. Farscape is a uh, great uh, Australian sci-fi series. Uh, and I hope to one day emulate that success. <coughs> Fat chance, I know. But who knows? One day. One day, per chance, doth thy knoweth. <laughs> Far out. It's going to be a semi-long, not really, night. I'm going to get from there. And we'll come back into here. E to extrude. And then we're going to go like that. All right. Beautiful. So that works out well. Um, this light over here is going to be a lot smaller. So let's clear it out. I'm just going to get rid of that floor there for a sec. Um, that, that and that can get deleted. That, that, delete vertices. Mm, delete faces. There we go. Control L, delete vertices you missed a merger welcome buddy oh trippy indeed yeah because i remember watching it when i started to slowly start on sci-fi stuff i mean i was a young whippersnapper when that came out spellbinders that was a show from my childhood that I absolutely adored. Actually, spellbinders. Let's 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 go find spellbinders. Uh, spellbinders. So this is a TV show from 1995. Oh, it's on Netflix. Oh, <laughs> might have to go back and watch it. So it's a show where a girl finds a portal in uh, going for a bushwalk or something, and then she gets taken into another world that, like, um, they've gone down to basic technology. However, they've been able to capture electricity in these kind of, like, amber crystal things. And only the most powerful use these elements. Blah, 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 blah. It's a great show. Dennis. Dennis is here. Look at this. The usual crew. Unbelievable. Oh, I know that was the volumetrics. H and H. Okay, so I put this light here purely for the thumbnail. I fell asleep to the monster. Oh, I gotta go back. I gotta go back and watch them. I do. Who are, what other shows did you guys grow up with? Um, on Discord the other night, we were talking about Agro's Cartoon Connection. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, that was Smokey, uh, Smokey and Spooky and Kaz were there. That was a good show. What am I doing? Yes. Just trying to optimize this. Uh, let's bring up that front wall. Thank you. Um, yeah, and that was kind of like a kid's show that was about... Uh, a dude and a puppet. Uh, but yeah, it was very much a kid's show. It was a great show. Three meters? No, let's go 2.8, I think is the height of a door frame. Nope. 2.8. 2.8 seems very, very big. No, that's the roof. Door frame's a lot lower. Let's go 2.4, I think is a door frame. 2.4. 3D for real? Welcome. Your can. Is it green? Yes. I'm going to assume that's that. It's just a cloth. Uh, we show that description. Is one with the teens. No. Oh. Yes. And did he ever find his dad? I know the show you're talking about. And yeah, he was in a coma because he fell out of a, a tree house. And... Um, Yes, and in his dream state, he was trying to find his dad. I remember that one. 
Uh, Vinny, morning. Good morning. Good morning. Cad Dad. Oh my goodness. The bells of Rohan ring true once more. They sure do, buddy. <laughs> Uh, is it is it true the Macula's maybe partaking? Um, we're going to put this on an X. Let's go minus 1.5. I want the door to be on this side because when we're filming, everything's going to be mainly... Oops, let's go out of perspective mode. Everything's going to be mainly like this and like this with the camera might be over here. Primarily, this wall is not going to exist, and that's purely based from the camera, but we might slip it out. Yes, I know there's so many from back in the day. Um, I remember here in Australia, we had uh, Nickelodeon. Oh, there was, that, there was the, the Nickelodeon Olympic things where the kids would run around the tracks and up the mountain. Anyway, that's another one. Um, but I do remember that there was a like an 80s show where it was two detectives, but one died, but only the other detective could see his spirit. And so they were like solving crimes together. I remember that. About a chick going back in time to prevent a war about water. Never heard of that one. Is Vinny sleeping with the fishes? <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, that was, I, mm, I don't know that one. A war about, is that, that door's way too big, isn't it? Yeah, we want it more compact. Uh, so let's bring back our character. And we'll just have a looky, see. Yep, perfect, I like that. Randall and Hopkins! Hopkirk, yeah! Oh my goodness, I have to save that. Randall and uh, Hopkirk Deceased. Yes! Already watched. I've never watched it. Oh my goodness, what a show. So this is what I'm just talking about. 1969. Oh jeez. Okay. That's made my day. Who's that? Fluke Roger. Oh my goodness, you have made my day. Ghost Rider. I remember, I do remember something about Ghost Rider. Okay, I can't close that tab. That's... <laughs> I'm looking forward to maybe hunting down episodes on YouTube. Oh, mm, so happy. Um, from here... Clearly, it's uh, very easy to um make me happy. From here... <laughs> Let's go. I'm trying to think what's the best way. If I select this, this is probably not the most efficient way, but no, I should do it this way. Let's select that one. We'll do I to do an inset. Oops, select all. And we'll do I to do an inset. Delete that face. <clears throat> From here, scale Z zero. And then that's going to go zero. So what we're doing is kind of like a border around our door. I think I'm going through puberty. Puberty? <laughs> Oh, come back. Control Z. Uh, Alt S. Scale. Okay. And then we'll scale on the X a little bit. What the? Uh, let's. Oh, yeah, that's why. Delete. Edge. Let's now delete that. Awesome. That and that. I just want to scale that out a little bit. Nice. And then we can come in. E to extrude, and then that gives us kind of like a door frame. This floor here, let's grab that. E to extrude along the Y axis. P separate by selection, and that can be a different door. I remember one character who was a bounty hunter sent by the corporation. Corp mm. I don't know that one. What about water? No. Nah. No, nah, nothing's tickling. Found the title of the show, Girl From Tomorrow. I think it's that. The Girl From Tomorrow. Oops, my bad. What the? 1991. John Howard. <laughs> 
It was the Prime Minister. That's this is a different John Howard. Irene Kelly. Nah. I remember Ocean Girl. Ocean Girl, yes. Which is something about dolphins or something. I don't know. And Around the Twist. That was a good show. Skippy. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. There's some classics in there. Um, okay, come on, Mark. Come on, focus, 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 focus. I like the door. I, mm, do we... I'm just thinking, what is the best way to make a door now? Because at the end of the day, I'm trying to hide as much as possible the outside world. Um, purely due to the fact I don't want to do any more animating and uh, scene extensions. So we'll do an F, P, separate by selection. Let's grab that door. And we'll go scale. Something like that. G, Z. And then maybe what we can do is when we go E to extrude, the door will sit on this side. Um, the basis of this restaurant is meant to be kind of like a little bit of an alleyway. So we are going to add in the door swinging outwards. It's not gonna be swinging inwards, but outwards. And then that way we can actually hide a bit of the, uh, <laughs> poopy caca. Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to think, a little bit of the scenery. So we can have a little bit of light bleed coming through and that's fine by me. Um, let's go shift S cursor selected, right click set origin to geometry. Nope. Right click set origin 3D cursor. And then that way when this is open and then we can have a big get stuffed light here. Um, like an area light. Something like so. Thousand watt. And I mean, we could have a green. Should we go orange? And then if we go into rendered mode, we can see how that's now like coming through, which is kind of like what we want. We had Ocean Go. Ah. <coughs> You're right. I forgot how to drink water. Um. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Dubbing would be a fun thing to do. Akuman, welcome. welcome. Welcome to the, the stream, man. What am I doing? Creating new material. Um, we need to add in a wood, plywood. Let's just go U, cubic projection. Let's jump over into UV editing. Um, and then from here, we'll jump over into material. Let's just make sure that it kind of looks okay. By the way, try the add-on. Oh, the decal one. Yeah, sorry. I made that video yonks ago. And uh, I I was shooting blanks for ideas. So I just kind of like, yeah, have this one. Uh, no, I haven't. I haven't tried that. For Harley Davidson. No. Yeah, no, no, no. I haven't. I mean, I don't see why not. Could be done. Uh, let's go. Let's make this plywood. Do we dare? Uh, how about we throw a material on it? I kind of like it, but then this here should be maybe like a metal. And it will make this door here as well, metal. I actually kind of like that, even though the UV stuffed. Uh, no, not Zekaon. It would be Ivy on Harley. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, that was Monday. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Your water bottle has transparent shadow. <laughs> mm. You can't see me. <laughs> Mr. Armas, welcome, mate. 
I, f I forgot about my drink bottle. I mean, cup. Whoop, who just joined? Did I miss that? Mr. Robinson. Welcome, mate. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I still haven't fixed the arm up, you donkey. Uh, that's going to be a future problem. All right, beautiful. I like that. That's great. So pretty much the scene is almost there. Let's build this um, wooden thing where all the plates are going to be sitting. So we'll build that up. Um, definitely need some fillers. I wouldn't mind getting some plants in here, but we might throw them in from Unreal Engine. If I can get the characters looking a little bit better, I will be probably using NVIDIA Omniverse to render it out. Um, but because of the short film festival and because I got limited time, I'll probably just focus on Unreal Engine 5 and then I can port everything across afterwards. So yeah, yeah, ding dong. Cool, 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 cool. That there. Okay, you select all, assign, you assign. And then that's what we're kind of looking at. Awesome. Let's line up this light with our other light. Noise. And we're gonna grab both of these lights, shift D Y. And I think we've got lights back here. Shift D Y and we'll do the same there. How's that looking now? think under here we need those probably to be a little bit more bright blue I've ripped the map and it's no texture white image what do you mean you've ripped the map <laughs> I have 700 pieces of materials I have no idea what that means man um, I like that that's going well probably could even extend this wall now uh, let's go e to extrude along the y axis jump over into uv editing let's select everything grab that edge grab that edge grab that edge g to the x there we go hang on nope that do that GX just kind of like extend that brickwork out a bit more nice but you don't really see it I stole yeah cool um, <laughs> we'll have to watch later because I'm working ah oh, chase poor guy I've got work tomorrow as well. It's okay. It's all right. She'll be all right. Um, I don't know if you've... I've ripped map and it, no texture, white image. Well, it doesn't sound like it, then you haven't. If there's no image. Um, let's go into cube. Shift S cursor to... Oh, no, that's fine. Let's go ahead and go into it. I'm thinking edit mode, man. You can see all my furniture off to the side, so I'm just going to do the same. Scale, Shift Z, 0. 0.5, so we've got like a meter by meter. I think that's a little bit too much. Scale, Y, 0. 0.5, so we've got something like that. Let's go GZ1, so it's sitting flush, GZ1, and so we've got kind of like this two meter tall um, cabinet thing in my bob. Let's grab, actually, we'll do this. Da, 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 that that and that and this is kind of like where we're going to be storing everything let's select all our faces press i to do an inset um i don't think this is the right way we're going to do it i think we're going to get rid of everything mm. let's go like this like this like this like this let's go oh gosh we'll do it like this uh we're going to get rid of that that slowly slowly delete faces delete edges and then we can select that that's going to be an f that's going to be an f that's going to be an f down here might just bring it up a smidgen 
select all into their modifiers generate we're going to solidify modifier and we're going to do a point 0.1 I, uh, yeah, not sure about that, man. <laughs> I'm sure if you want, jump on the Discord, whatever. There's a link somewhere. Um, from here, we've got that now. Let's go into Shift S to the little bit. And then we're going to add in the cubes. And then this is going to be what's kind of be holding up our, um, dining room a dining room our table set area um the whole story behind it is that there is a whole bunch of there is a whole bunch of uh plates that have already been smashed so kevin's already smashed a whole bunch of plates um and so that's why this is actually going to be pretty bare in the first episode um because in the first episode he smashes some more plates all right, done. I like that. Uh, let's throw, actually we'll join these together. Control J to join. And then we're gonna go into generate and we're gonna throw a Beverly bevel on there. A little bit too strong, so let's go 0.001. Nice. Archie Mention, I haven't used it for a while. Rather than getting acquainted to it, you can see how I can do it. I don't really need to rig the door, but I can. Um, and because the pivot point is set there, it's gonna rotate there. How do you do the sound? Ah, oh, I'll show you. Okay. The sound effect was like this. This is how I did it. And it sucked. I didn't like it. I was initially going to use it within Blender, but I wasn't getting the results that I wanted because in Blender, you can actually attach a sound file to an object and have that object kind of go around. Uh, I think it's this one here. So what I ended up doing is I did it all in DaVinci. Come into edit mode. Oh gosh, my resolution's really low because if it's not, then you guys can't see it. But all it is, is uh, the volume settings. Down, up, down, up, down, up. And then kind of like fades off into the distance. There is also, I was moving it left and right. Um, so right at the start here, I don't know if um, sp spatial audio is coming through, but it starts off to the right and then moves across to the left. So that's kind of like how I did it. I um, This is the jet sound that I created. So I found an audio file of a jet I think it was like a Boeing 747 starting up and I took like 10, 15 seconds of it and then kind of um, did a bit of a looping sound. Oh, how about I turn that up? So that was the sound. You can kind of hear the repeating pattern. Um, but then I put in some sort of like audio sound effects. I don't know what I did. Uh, if I click FX, here we go. Up the top here, mixer audio effects. So I put on a reverb and then I changed the pitch as well. And that's what gave us that more high pitch sound. Um, but yeah, so it goes up, louder, quieter, quieter, up, down, up, down, up, down. So it's not, I really don't like it, but uh, you know, when it's 1 a.m. and you're like, I need to put something out, it's fine. I have done videos before of me just making sounds into the mic. So if we go over to Insta, uh, how do I go into my stuff? This thing up here? Yeah, so this one here, That was me just making the audio with my mouth and then adding a little bit of reverb, I think. I think I did it one more time somewhere else as well. Um, but that's why it's kind of like easier just to throw some audio over the top, like, like a song or something over the top. 
Um, I'm just going back. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, where's the initial post? Fuck, this is going back, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I forgot I was making that. Huh. Anyway. Um, waffle jokes. You I rigged know, the waffle. Sometimes I just worry about myself. <laughs> mm. Yep. Lost the plot. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. I don't know where the post is. Anyway, let's get back to this. Um, but that's kind of like, yeah, how I built that audio up. Um, I'm feeling with this though, I don't know, stuff it. Let's just throw it into the scene. We've got a bit of space to almost use up. So this whole area is, I reckon it's too big. Now that I look at it, I reckon that it's almost here. All this should be like here. Uh, okay. G, Y. I almost feel that that is what we need. So let's get rid of this, this, this. And then I'm gonna do a G. And then obviously like when we've got, when we're doing filming, we can remove this wall. Um, let's go G, Z. But because majority of the conversations are gonna be happening like here, um, I think, yeah, for this reason, that's kind of cool. Um, for this reason, we will come into like perspective, 50 millimeter. We're probably gonna go like a 28 or something, um, but we probably could go a 50 when we're specifically talking like with this guy here. Let's just go into material mode. Shift D, rotate. And then we've kind of got that scene there. Uh, the one with the planet, f yes, I think I did that with a planet flyby as well, yeah. I can't remember which one it was now. Um, but this is kind of like the idea of making the scene. It is going to be very tight. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is for a specific reason. And that is... <laughs> so I don't have to animate that much. So this isn't going to be an action web series at the moment. It's going to be a little bit more talking heads. And so I'm really focused on writing the script as well with a friend interstate. So if you've been kind of communicating together on that, um, just for my first one, because if it becomes popular, then I'll expand the universe and so on and so forth. But if it's not, that means I can throw it away and focus on something else. It was interesting having a conversation on Discord. There just seems to be so many Blender tutorials. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a little bit ridiculous. And so, I don't know. I know we don't always say this. What's the direction of the channel? I don't know anymore. I just do what I think's fun ish. Um, but yeah, that's slight problem there. Um, but I think, you know, if we go down the storytelling thing, which is what YouTube recommends to, you know, build an audience and have stories and blah, 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 that might be the way to go. But yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens there. Um, yeah, so this is. Who just joined? John Dahl. Welcome, buddy. Um, Fire, that's hot. Why aren't you turning? Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. Um, beautiful. Love it. It's great. That's there. I like this step, how they step up into it now. This is actually really good. Um, this here should probably be a metal color. So let's go matte metal. And then we'll go into matte metal. 
do the same. Oh gosh, just do this, Marco. Copy materials are selected. Um, from memory, didn't we put like circles under here? We did. Right, so that top section of glass, I think was what I was gonna do. Mm, let's maybe just select this. Control I, invert the, oh, good stuff. Control L, Control I. With that, we're gonna push it up. Bring it down. And then we are going to have a secondary material. I think maybe we might go like a black. Control L, assign. What does that look like? Like rubbish. So I think let's go control numpad plus and we'll go assign on that one as well. That allows that stuff. I do want maybe this section here to be a bit of a chopping board. Oh gosh, what the heck is that? So we'll select this. Uh, we're going new material on here. This is going to be ply. Obviously you can see that there is actually a lot of wood in this scene. And then we're going to select that control numpad plus go into there and this is going to be our material two our material two assign and this one's going to be matte underscore black noise cool i like that i'll buy that for a dollar that's great i think here we need to add in obviously some more crud along the table here um, maybe whilst we're already in this mode I'm going to select U and U, Shift D, F, P, separate by selection. And what we're doing here is just kind of like a bit of a threshold over the door. G, Y, E to extrude along the Y axis, please. Control L, E to extrude, scale on the Y axis. That there can be matte.metal. Make sure we go U, yeah, U, yeah, cubic projection. La di da. La di da. Wow. A lot of people just left. Sweet. <laughs> I still got you guys. Oh, what? Why is chat not coming through? Okay. I must have been missing a whole bunch of stuff. All right. Uh, steroids are bad, kids. <laughs> okay back on that uh that's just for your future stream live this morning huge building at the center i do oof so no no, no i'm over here so i will show you something i'll show you a behind the scenes thing not spice girls <laughs> epic <laughs> I know, I still got you guys. Exactly. Exactly. My cup is empty. Dang nabbit. All right, so let's bring this up and I'll just show you something that I've been playing around with. Uh, if Smokey was here, we were on uh, Discord last night talking about this. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Back to work tomorrow. I'll try and build an empire. Here's a question Who has been playing with PowerPoint animation? Pa animating in PowerPoint is so much fun. I'm just saying. I'm semi thinking of doing a web series, uh, tutorial series on uh, animating in PowerPoint. I've been having a blast. All right, so let's bring this up. Punt loose or punt loose? Punt loose. Punt loose. Punt loose. Hey. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. Spice. I started typing in Spice Girls. It's weird. I haven't listened to them. <sighs> I'm trying to think of a pun. Nothing's coming. Speaking of puns, what time do tennis players go to bed? Tennis. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh gosh, I know. Magical. Magical. Uh, do I have any other ones? That was just something that was in my mind because I had a good chuckle at it the other day. Uh, let's go into the dad's group. Da, 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 da. That was me. 
Uh, does anyone else think that drills are boring? Uh, since I learned there was XL Sports, I'm not surprised anymore. Oh, oh, that actually came up on my feed. The uh, 2000, uh, 2024 XL Championships. There we go. Two hour stream if you want to watch it. The finals. The finals of XL Championships. It's got 1.8 million views. What? Anyway, so uh, if you want to get into that, there we go. Yes, I was watching a documentary on Borat just before this and how they will never make a film like Borat ever again. And I'm like, yeah, I can see why. Um, <laughs> let's go. What do you call ventilation that doesn't exist? Fan fiction? Come on, Unreal Engine. My friend just opened up an ice rink charging 10 cents a go. Cheapskate. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's all I got. I know, I know, I know. Come on, open up. I know, they're great. They're great. They feed me. Are you serious? This whole time. Uh, web series pasty, I think, is the one. Fan fiction. That's one of yours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just make sure it's dropping. All right. Whilst uh, Unreal Engine's going crazy, um, I'm really happy how this has turned out. Let's probably put a roof in. Um... Where is a roof? Because I... Okay, so that's the right-hand side. Does it have a material? No. I think we might make it the same as concrete floor. Let's maybe make that a concrete. Um, over here. Da -da -da, assets. A browser. Oh, sweet. I got the stream working. I'm not getting any errors. Okay, um, let's go into here, Marco's stuff, I think this, no, I want to open up my map, where's my map, okay, well that's the shop, yeah, so this is what the shop is looking like in Unreal Engine, like, look how quick it is, it's rendering gorgeously, but did I not save my other stuff, ah, uh, far out, Brussels sprout, no, I didn't. You stupid idiot. You donkey. Far out. Reopen them. Display color. No. So I don't have chat at the moment. Yeah, I didn't save it, did I? You fat turd. RL content. What's that? Oh, no, re illusion content. Yeah, 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 no, it's not that one. <sighs> Darn it. Gosh dang it. Anyway, fine. Go away. So, let me just quickly go into open recent, rare cover, auto save quickly. 22. No, no, no. Yes, recover, auto save. Control S to save. Let's bring that back. Epic gets stuffed. So, yeah, what I've been working on, and that I'm hoping to be have this out soon because I speak the good England. I'm hoping to have this out soon. This sci fi building set. Now, I did post the video up on Reddit. A lot of people said, oh, it's very grey. I'm like, yeah, I know it's grey, it's just buildings. So I'll probably come through and add in some assets and such, as in, you know, some like signs that we can attach to the side of the building. I reckon one thing that would look cool is if I can add in um, like a green or like colored lines, like massive decals 
that go over the top. So if I go like Shift S, right click, plane, rotate X, da -da -da. oops, scale, scale X, and then if we went kind of like that, let's go into a noise, noise texture. Um, let's go into color ramp there there color there into alpha let's go I think black is see-through uh, let's go you cubic projection let's go you project from view of bounds I hate you so get daft um, let's increase the scale of that Okie dokie. Let's keep zero. Um, oh, why? Why, why, why? Oh, that way. No, because I don't have an alpha. So if I go black, you can be my alpha. And I think it's being all haggly. Actually, let's do a constant rather than a linear. Constant. Um, the reason for that is, is there is an ambient occlusion on the building. So if we get stuffed, I thought I cleared you out, dog. If we go like this to there, now there's no ambient occlusion. Excellent. And then if we kind of bring that back, let's make it like a blue color. Definitely needs to be. I'm just kind of like using this as an example. <laughs> that wall's not straight. Or oh, this isn't straight. Scale X, scale Y, zero. No, that wall's not straight. What well on, Marker? You pick the building with a wall that's not straight. Yeah, it's not straight. You donkey. Let me just line this up. GY. Whoops. Rotate. Good enough. Good enough. I don't care. This is just an example. Um, and then I think, yeah, it should be probably a lot bigger. Uh, let's go 20 maybe. Uh, let's, uh, I don't know. This is bugging me now. Let me just quickly shrink wrap on that one. G4, deform, deform, deform. On that, project on the negative. Bring it out. Okie dokie. Just like a lemon. What the? 0.01. Uh, which way is the normal? Let's go rotate Z 180. What the Hickabotham? You know when stuff just doesn't work? Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Why? You've literally got a projector surface on this building... don't want to project on it. Anyhow. Anyway, so those are the buildings that will hopefully be out soon. Uh, lots of buildings. Yes. Um, so with that one especially, I was trying to get them to have a lot of smudge on it. And that's because of the Brutalism kit from the kit bashing guys that I've been trying to emulate signs out on and do it. Yes, I probably should, eh? Uh, but that's looking good. Plywood. I don't really want to plywood. Maybe we might, mm, just for simplicity's sake now, might just go metal. Um, but definitely something we need to add in is some kind of like pots and such. So let's do a control S to save on that one. Building right. 
we need this to have a bit of a concrete floor, I mean concrete wall. So we're going to come over into the asset browser. Let's go into models. No, let's go into textures, uh, metal. Ah, get stuffed. Fabric, no. Rock, rock. Terrain, wood. I don't want wood. I want concrete. Where am I concrete? Where's my concrete at? Where the heck's my concrete? The beige hue. Um, concrete floor. I don't want a concrete floor. Concrete wall. What do you look like? Yeah, you look good. Meow. Let's go you, cubic project, smart UV project, sure. And then we're going to go into UV editing. Let's close that. UV editor. Beautiful. Let's go into material mode so we can actually see what we're doing. Let's go rotate 90 degrees. And now we kind of have cinder blocks on the one side. Excellent. 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 Um, I'm going to assume that we've got a wrong face orientation. We sure do. So what I am, am actually going to do is add in a uh, solidify modifier. Why? Let's not. Because we're going to be doing this in Unreal Engine, I'm actually going to have... Be, I'm actually going to be able to have the camera on this side of the wall and see through it. And that is completely off. So let's fix that. Shift N. And those are completely off. Let's uh, select that and shift N. I heard a door close. So that sucks. Okay. That wall there is see-through. So that's fine. What's up? Your tooth setting. I shall return. Look back, out of space. Turn around, man. Anyway, 
No. So, um, losing teeth. Other ones are coming through the gums. It's great. Children. Love it. Um, so, I will, though, shrink this wall. And we're going to go delete vertices. And then this wall here, shift N, and then we're going to inside. There we go. So, when we're filming in Unreal Engine, I can actually see through these walls. So, I actually don't have to remove them. Now, the good thing about that is, is we're going to have light bouncing off the wall and illuminating some of the other stuff as well. So, for instance, um, this bit here. If I were to do this. Uh, okay, let's go like this. Save. We'll copy that down there. If we were to go like this, we can see that kind of like this wooden section here, that bit's illuminated. Might have to fix it, but anyway. But now if I were to hide this wall, that's now dead set black, which is most definitely not what we want. Um, so that's kind of like one of the things of using that really stupid bug. It's not even a bug. That's just the way Unreal Engine works of seeing through walls to our advantage. Deadly, welcome. A oh, Bert's here. Pox here. Welcome. Uh, Violent. Hi. Looking forward to bringing the blender materials into... No. Mm, so, I am specifically designing everything without have to bake. Because at the end of the day, Unreal Engine has a massive library of materials that you can just kind of like slap things in. And so that's what I'm kind of... Kind of that's what I'm going for. As well for the fact is, if we go into um, NVIDIA Omniverse, NVIDIA Omniverse have an even larger library that we can use. And so that's what I'm kind of leveraging. I'm not trying to make any special materials here. I am trying to use the stock standard default materials. Carl Black faces. Yeah, actually. I do agree with that one. Probably is. Um, but yes, I'm very happy with that. However, now we need to start. I do need to do a 3D scan of a pasty because I've yet to do that. Meat. I've got cooked meat. I could probably do a 3D scan of meat. Oh, yes. Okay. Marco, remember. Properties, options, rendering. Uh, here. Here. Properties. Options. Maybe not there. <laughs> yeah? I don't know. I don't know where it is. Eh, future market problem. Properties, render. Options. Da -da -da -da. I'm assuming rendering op renderings here. No, that's because that's render. And we're saying options. I don't see it. Color management, freestyle. Yeah, it's not important. Baking, film, volumes, light paths, sampling, whatevs, trevs. All right, so let's go into that. So now I am going to crack open a new blend file. All right, let's start from scratch. We're going to get file, save as straight away so Marco doesn't lose his works. And we're going to call this extras. Actually, we'll call this... Uh, 084 underscore extra safe now we're gonna go ahead and jump into knife you might get into a knife fight kitchen perfect right click save image as you better not be saving it as an AVF okay let's jump into snipping tool new and so I just kind of want to use this as a reference and let's go save. I hate you. F, Marco 3 Studios. We go down to 85, 84. Let's go new assets, reference. Cool, good enough. And we're going to call this a knife. And with these kind of like spawn materials, probably bank them. Back into Blender. Let's go file import 
images plane reference knife and then we're going to go into material mode and then we're I just going to be super lazy about this ah oh, maybe what's the best way because I mean kind of like technically curves would be the best way So yeah, there's two options. So if I were to go mesh curve, uh, nerves circle. No, let's do it the other way. Nerves. Now the reason why I'm using nerves is because then we don't have to deal with Bezier and Bezier suck when you're trying to when I well for me anyway. Where so I'm trying to find that line. There it is, like that like that and then we go E and I'm just gonna just fudge it around because it doesn't have to be perfect and then later on yeah we can add some more because I mean technically with the Beziers we can be whoop, whoop. that's all right whatever let's just get that a little bit sharper Uh, can I do an F? Yes, yeah, sweet. Let's do a control B. Nope. Point it like that. So from here we can go, um, let's go right click. Let's go space, convert to mesh. This is a knife. <laughs> Uh, do you know the story of the samurai? I approve, Dennis. I very much approve. <laughs> Let's go like that. Ah, oh, dang it. I wasn't planning on that. And all the stupid amount of vertices. Um, what is the best way to clean that up? Smooth? What is the best way? I reckon now I've kind of stuffed myself up. All right, let's get back to how I was going to do it. Uh, yeah, 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 I stuffed up good. All right, let's do now edge here. And then we're going to just kind of... Oh, yeah, what are you doing? Add a few like that. GG. GG. Sat glob. Welcome. <laughs> All right. And we're, yeah, we're just going to kind of follow that around. Oh, it's an Ikea knife as well. Well, that's convenient. GG. 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 And GG. Let's put an edge to loop through there. And then we can kind of start doing the same. GG. 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 And then we might just put a solidify modifier on it a little bit later. Kind of wanted to still give it a little bit of a lovey McLove love there. Nice. Uh, from here, we got to do a little bit extra work. Here. And there. And there. GG. 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 Yeah. And this is. This is my fun for the next 10, 15 minutes. Not even. I always just take the image, then use the knife tool. Freaking, that is so much smarter, you stupid idiot. I, I must be just tired. It would have come to me eventually. You donkey marker, you donkey. Eeyore. And then let's go like so, and we'll put an edge loop through there. GG. 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 And GG. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Delete faces. Why is. Oh, I thought I'd. Oh, gosh. Let's select that. Control B to do a bevel. 
GG. Something like that, whatevs. Let's go into add modifier. We'll do a, um, what's the thing called? Subdivision surface. That's a little bit better. Delete vertices. Delete vertices. Are we still doing insert? <laughs> what? <laughs> is that what the knife is called? <laughs> um, let's go. I'm going to do this. GG. And then we're going to go V to rip. We'll add in P separate by selection. That one there can have a solidify modifier on it. Uh, make it zero. Point one. Uh, the reason why it looks so stupid is because in the material settings, we've got this alpha clip. Let's go alpha hashed and alpha hashed. Nice. And then we can probably throw on a bevel modifier. Um, bevel, perfect. We will clean all this up. Get stuffed. Whatever, we'll fix that up later. Uh, do we just use the image? Yeah, no, I won't be doing that. I will probably be, um, sorry. I will probably just use it for a reference. And that's called a tang that we learnt from the British steel person, which I can't remember his name right now. Um, I'm going to get rid of that bevel for now. What's his name? I can see his face. Can't picture his name though. So we'll go into a slit of modifier. Let's go zero. So now we have that. The other thing that I want to add is those circles. Those ones. So let's go shift A. We are going to add in a cylinder. Nope. Shift A, let's add in a cylinder. Shift A, let's add in a cylinder. Well done, Marco. You're special, man. Thank you. Nice. Beautiful. That's good enough. Something like that. Shift D. Shift D. Excellent. And then from here, we've got that. Let's select everything. Control. Oops. Let's go convert to mesh. That automatically applies everything. From here now, we can select that and go and get rid of these faces now delete these faces now delete face ah, get stuffed you you and you delete vertices and now we can go something like that scale scale on the y-axis And then we'll do F and F. Let's now go ahead and select all the way around. Select all the way around. Nice. Noise, 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 noise. Control B to do a bevel. Perfect, love it, brilliant, shade smooth, done. Draven, welcome. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to smile and wave. Delete edge loop. Um, that didn't work as well as I hoped. So we would go something like this. Let's grab that bottom edge there, GZ. Let's put maybe another one through there. This edge here. Whoops. Don't want to grab the bottom half. I can see that hilt has a problem already, which is not what I wanted. Come on, Marco. GZ. 
GZ. We'll make that a little bit more fine. Noise, 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 noise. Right click, auto shade smooth. We've got a problem here. So we're going to go ahead and delete that edge loop. Nice. All right, Marco. Also, it was my birthday the day before yesterday. Yeah, happy birthday, buddy. Nice. Ah, uh, the birthdays. Um, excellent. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. I like it. So a very simple knife. That there is ugly. So we'll fix this. Let's go GZ. GZ. Just make it a bit of a point. I'm okay with that. Control J to join. We need to create two materials. It's going to be black and then it's going to be like a shiny metal. So let's go like this. U cubic pro projection. Hickety hiccups. So one video on green screen. Oh. I don't like it. I don't have enough room. Because I mean, like... This is all I have. It's nothing. There is nothing. So it's not a rough room. Can I hide my Sony? Oh, I don't want to turn it off because I know then it's going to like run havoc. If I hide that, and then if I go add, can I add things on the fly? Sources. If I go into display, no, no video capture do i have a video capture somewhere i think i'm losing the plot what little plot i had oh down here nope they're widgets display capture primary monitor no collab cam well, that's interesting image da, 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 window capture no global cam oh that's cool no nah, don't know close I don't know how to do that. Sunglasses. What the? Let's go back to this. I've got two smartwatches. Both of them. Same brand. Nice. Import pink image as plain. What? <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, no, I don't have enough room to be doing like VFX stuff, unfortunately. But I, it's, it's one of those things I've wanted to do for quite some time. Because I can tell you now, making animation or making videos would be a lot easier. In terms of uh, like movies and such. But yeah, I just don't have the space. The goal, the goal, the goal for Markham 3D one day is to kind of have a bit of a studio to do that. Um, I know JS Films has a bit of a space, but here in Australia, we don't do basements. Or it's very rare to have a basement somewhere. So, yes. Limited space. Anyway, control S to save. This is our knife. Let's call it a knife. Awesome. So if I now go file. Uh, let's go here. Let's go back into our other scene. I don't have another scene open. Let's go here, here. <laughs> Pasty. Whew. Feeling the pinch. I can tell you that much. May you get one soon. I, oh, man. I would absolutely love it. However, housing prices are stupid high. Uh, from here, let's get file link. Let's go append. We'll bring it into the scene. Um, extra. Object. Knife. got to make it a scale that's very clever of you Marco um, I like a big knife I'm not gonna lie and if we can yeah place it like here ish uh, we should probably make a chopping board even though something like that I think what we need to do make Metal, 
Oh, that kind of sucks that it blends in. That's fine. Let's go like this. Assign. And you will be black. Too much of together. Most thing, uh, yes, I did see that. I haven't really been in there for a while. Do not use a sheet as a green screen. Why not? Looks fine. However, I don't have space. <laughs> uh, do you play games? I... Yes. I do. I do. Uh, a little bit too much. Um, I did a terrible thing. I uh, went into my EVE Online account. I haven't downloaded the game yet. That's I'm trying to put that off as long as possible. But... Um, I have a, yeah, Rocket League's my jam, and I'm playing Power World at the moment. Eh, eh, kind of over it, but it's fun though, like I get to play with a friend, so, but it's eh, it's cool. Paint your wall, okay, yeah, no. <laughs> I do though have, we can go on a journey, actually, can I bring in the other wing? If I press plus sources, oh, we're back to sources. Um, how do I how do I bring in a? Can I bring in another thing? Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna try and add in another source webcam. I think that webcam is plugged in. Video capture device, Sony. Ah, crud, I've only got, hang on, hang on. Let me find this other webcam. Oh gosh, where do you go? You go there, and you go there. Where, where do you go then? Oh gosh, you go in there, that means, oh, the back. And you go down here, and where's that go? Network cables. Anything seems plugged in. Ugh. Ugh, this suck a lemon. Uh, I'm trying to think of a way to show you what my actual. Also, the type of fabric uh, and diffuse light. Yay! I know all that rubbish. Kind of ish. Um, I think this is, it seems like it, that seems like it. Ah, so it was plugged in. All right. All right, all right, let's plug it back in. It knows there's a webcam. Add existing. No, I want to add it. <laughs> I uh, I clicked on the wrong thing, and now I'm looking at different ways. Oh, jeez. Anyway, I can't do that. Go away. There we go. That's sweet. <laughs> so I'm trying to think. What's the best way here? Yeah. This one. And we will go on a journey. Let me just unscrew that. Okay. And this is this is this is what the space looks like. So we've got I've kind of got all these sound panels everywhere. That is the secondary computer. Uh yeah, and then that's Kind of up there is where we're doing some 3D printing stuff. I got a Rococo head mount up there. Um, this Star Wars thing. Hang on, what the? There it is. So that Star Wars thing is um, for scale of, <sighs> for scale for uh, some D&D &D terrain that I'm working on. Oh, there we go. And then we've got, yeah, some more sound paneling. There's the big light. 
and then I can't show you that bit because that's got like a buzz statement there that has my address on it. So let's uh, let's not showcase that. But yeah, there we go. So like, I really don't have any room. Computer screen back. But there we go. Tekken 8. I'm not playing. Did I just break? <laughs> Look at the face. <laughs> oh, no. Did I, I knocked it. Uh, what if we do this? I disconnect this, and then I click on this. Connect to USB streaming cable. Great. See, I try to do something nice, and it kicks me in the bottom. Oh, there we go. That was the webcam I wanted. Oh, I'm back. From outer space. Oh, there I am. Sweet. Troubleshooting on the way. It's slightly lighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we... Yeah, so I went to a material store to pick this up. And yeah, as you can see on this webcam... Oh, gosh. On this webcam here, it's, yeah, it's just all, nothing but cloth. And there's my clothes. And there's my face, my beard. Look at my grey hairs. Ugh. Anyway. Oh, I've got to readjust all this. <laughs> I should just do the stream like this. Giant me. Get in the corner, Marco. Rip. <laughs> I mean, upside down, technically. Since we are from the land down under. Uh, transformation. There we go. <laughs> Let's go like that for a little bit then. Um, so, I like that. So one thing probably I need to add is almost like a cloth as well. So if we kind of open up our other blend file. I don't want a cloth with... Um, I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, the cloth's never going to be used. I mean, technically we could do it, especially if we're going to be using Unreal, Unreal Engine or Omniverse. Definitely no way I'd be using a cloth in Blender. So if we go into a cube, into a plane, let's go right click, subdivide. I uh, went a little bit too much there. Let's go that. It's already been UV unwrapped, so that's okay. We're going to come into there, add modifier. We're going to, no, we're going to go into the physics tab. Physics tab, physics tab, physics tab. This is going to be a collision. This is going to be a cloth. Cloth, there we go. And we are just going to simply Shift S, cursor to select it. And what I'm going to do now is we're going to deform this from the 3D cursor space. Um, actually, we might just scale it up a little bit. And then let's grab... <laughs> Good. We're going to select all that. What's up? What's wrong? You gonna say hi to everyone? It's <laughs> right, they can't see you at the moment. Could you see where we're down under? So that's why the screen's upside down. I will call it a night, unfortunately. Hour and a half. <laughs> Let's call it a night. Um, I don't know what Monday's video is. 
I should do, but I don't. I will talk to you later. Um, 